Okay, here we go then. The last race of the day, it's all to play for. Race two, it all comes down to the next 14 laps. And away they go. Now, and there's Darren spinning out as well. Darren, there's contact there, he's pushed Kieran wide. Oh, but he's gone off, what's going on? Shane's also there in the BMW. Oh, nearly loses it. Kieran's going to have to slow down. No, he's got too much. It's Josh here, and he is leading. This is fantastic for Josh. Oh, a bit of a love tap. And Josh, oh my God, who's going to take it? Oh, I think it's Darren. I think it's going to be Rob. Rob gets it. He's actually on the grass. This isn't good for Tom. And he's made the move. Look at that. Threw it over Rouge. Oh, that's Mike. Mike's gone off. sideways big time is it gonna be enough no Sam takes it and takes the title ahead of Tom here's your grid for race two then here at Catalonia on the front row of the grid of course is Craig Kelly in the Alec Racing Nissan GTR next to him is the team Parker racing uh, Renault Megane of Sam Parker Row two, we've got Mark Nicholl in the Renault Megane. Next to him is Darren Parker in the second of the Renault Megane Team Parker Racing. Row three is Rob Pellet in the Nissan GTR of Elite Racing. Next to him is Stephen Heath in the Subaru WRX. Row four is Harry Cook in the Nissan GTR. And next to him is Mike Kuipers in the other Nissan GTR. Row five is Joe Burrows in his Mazda Tenza. Next to Tom Foster in the first of the KTEC Racing Subaru WRXs. And Kieran Thomas is next to Josh Hardy in the Renault Megane at the back row of the grid. Race two then for Catalonia, and we have Craig on the front row of the grid with Sam. And away they go. That's a good start from Rob there. Look at the start he's got. Further down is, of course, the Subarus of the two K Tech guys. And that's yeah, Mike on the gravel. Yeah. As the front lot's got the hard, and then the backs have got the soft. Yeah, without a doubt. It's a little bit more sensible on the start, so no one's going off. Much Some more sensible. I've now got to on. try and work to get past the hards. Yes, on board with Heafy. I think Heafy's on a hard, and you'll see uh, there's lots and lots of contact. That's Mark, who's gone off. He's run wide, unfortunately. And look at that, everyone's close together here. Yeah. And Heafy and Tom together. There's so much going on here. This is what happens when you get the softs and the hards merging together all in one race. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Heathy runs wide. Joe's with Josh. And oh, Tom's run wide as well. So Kieran's running wide and being pushed wide by Tom. Heathy's there as well. No, oh my God, they're all close. Close racing. Yeah. On board with Kieran, Tom hits Josh who goes wide, Kieran hits Heathy. As Joe and Tom at the early, further up. So, Josh now on the back of Kieran, looking to get those points. Tom and Joe and Sam running close together here as well. So, Tom looking to see if he can get past Joe. The two were racing hard in the first race. Uh, so, Tom's got a good run here on the inside. Whoa! And Joe goes on the outside. Look at that for an overtake. Kieran's hit Tom. So Kieran and Tom literally stuck to each other so far in this race. Josh is running up the inside of the two Subarus. Can he get both? I don't think it is. He's only just got the one. He's got Kieran, but he's actually on the inside of Tom still trying to get past. He's got both now. So great overtake by Josh. But it's not over yet. Let's check up the front. Who's leading the race? <laughs> it's Rob. So Rob's got away from all of that chaos and uh, is leading this race. Craig is in second, so it's a 1 2 for Elite Racing at the moment with the Nissans. Darren is third, Joe's fourth, and then everyone else is behind. Absolutely everyone. <laughs> 
So it might get between the two Subarus now. Into the tight left hand hairpin. Oh, more push and shove. And Kieran up on the inside of Harry. So contact between Kieran and Harry. So this will be down to the the third lap of which I think Rob just spun out. That was the yellow flags. Yep. Oh, so Rob. Yeah, Rob is now down with the pack. He's in six. Oh, that's a big shame for Rob. Rob was looking to potentially take his first win there, um, and we've actually got a replay of Rob. Um, so let's have a look and find out what happened to Rob and see how he spun out. Let's have a little look and find out what happened with Rob. He was leading quite comfortably, so it doesn't look like anyone's gone into the back of him. He's gone over the kerb, run a little bit wide there. Oh, let me clap that kerb just a little bit. Right, so the kerb spun him out. Oh, that's a real shame for Rob. Oh, look, and he's tried Which to read. It's an unusual kerb to spin around. Yeah. He's tried to correct himself and it's just reset him. On board with Rob. And we'll just see how it looked on board. Let's just say, look, he just runs wide there. Uh, I think it may be just... That's really unusual for a... especially a four-wheel driver as well. Yeah, so unfortunately Rob was just really unlucky there. He got the kerb in the wrong way and the, the kerbs just spun him out there. So Rob is fighting there to try and get back up. He's yeah. got a bit of the um. He's got the hump. <laughs> Look at this three-way. We've got uh, Joe behind Josh, who's behind Darren. So this is super close now. A bit of a push by Joe, and that's actually helped. Oh! It's that Darren. Yeah, it is Darren. Darren is off in the gravel. So it's just happening again for Darren. The bad luck continues race after race for Darren. More and more looking like Craig is just going to be out of reach for Darren at the moment. So uh, let's have a little look at the replay, Rob, find Rob's out. Then Rob's down to ninth as well. Yeah, let's have a look at the replay, find out what happened to Darren, and see how he went off the circuit there with Joe and Josh. Let's have a look at this incident again then with Darren, Josh, and Joe. And Josh goes on the inside. Better contact there. Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, it wasn't anywhere near the contact that we expected, really, was it? <laughs> no, no, not really. On board with Darren, as we see Josh go on the inside there. You know, even sound for yeah. contact, it's just... Oh. Again, again, glitches. So, yeah. Yeah, terrible luck. On board with Joe, and let's see. Yeah, there's just no contact there, and it just all of a sudden just disappears into the distance. Oh. So, so having a look at the replay there, Kieran, uh, it actually looked like there was very little contact, and it was just a bit unfortunate. Yeah. There's a bit of a glitch. It seemed so, to in the way the car went yeah. sideways. So, uh, just, again, luck is not on Darren's side, is it? No. So we've got Harry in seventh here behind Sam. So Sam's on the hard tyres, and he's now struggled to keep the Subarus at bay. So he's got Harry on his backside, looking to get past. The pack is now just about spread out. Still lots of battles going on, though. Harry... A great dive from Harry, and you can yeah. definitely tell the difference between the tyres there. Harry was so much more confident on the brakes than, than Sam was. So Tom and Kieran are working together here, and now up behind Josh. So this is probably the first time, really, we've seen the KSEC Subarus working together this season. There was yeah. more of it at the back end of the last race of the season and the finale in Brands Hatch when Tom went for the title and unfortunately missed it by two points but uh, there was definitely some team play there maybe the two looking to 
work together more in the second half. So Josh on the back end of Joe here. This is really good for Joe up to second. He's not been on the podium yet in that uh, Mazda. It's a good, good try by Josh. Josh. Is doing much better since yeah. the last race. He's on the softs, so naturally he's going to be quicker. Yeah. It's whether he can keep himself together, not get uh, too caught up and uh, take the points. So, looking good for Josh at the moment. Tom and Kieran having their own inter-team battle, <laughs> as always. So, I think Joe has got a run here on the back end of Craig. And Craig on lap five is still leading on the hards, which I Craig is can do something on those hard tyres which nobody else can. Yeah. He's just he's got some somehow he just manages to keep the pace. Obviously not as anywhere near as his this soft pace, but just enough for everyone else to, you know, still struggle to get past. I think Joe might have him on this one. He's got to take him on the outside. Can he get him? Yeah, but Josh is there as well. Oh, there goes Josh off. Yeah, Josh has gone off. So Josh hits the barriers. As we said. the back end. Yeah. This is fantastic racing from Joe and Craig. Let's keep an eye on it from uh, Tom's view. And... So Joe is leading the race for the first time. Joe is leading a race, but it's finding it hard. That's a oh, big dive from Tom. A little bit of contact with Kieran. Further down, Rob is fighting with Harry down in seventh. So again, it's a big shame for Rob. Sam's down to eighth. Heafy's ninth. Mike is tenth. Darren is eleventh. Can you believe it? And even Mark is struggling on the hards as well in that Renault. Which so, is unusual for Mike to be there as well, because I'm yeah, sure he's on softs on this one. Yeah, Mike is, uh, yeah, just, he's not really caught up with the field, has he? No. On board with Kieran, Tom's ahead now. Very different racing lines between Tom yeah. and Kieran. <laughs> Very different. Tom is now on the back end of Craig and looking for any opportunity to get past. Oh, it was a, it was a, it was a look, but it wasn't a pass. And that is to get past Josh. Yeah. Oh, Josh has spun out. Spun so round. spun out, spun rounds. Josh is out. Oh, contact there as well, but with Mike, but uh, it's not Mike's fault. So Josh has gone down to eighth. Let's have a little look and find out how Josh spun out there and look at the replay and see if we can get an on board and watch Josh. Let's have a look on board with Josh with his spin then. So he's behind Kieran. And... He's, he's gone into the corner, all right. Just pushing too hard. Yeah, he just grass. almost heads towards the gravel, gets on the outside of the grass and spins out. It's an unusual one, that one. Oh, oh contact with Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Josh just again going running wide and wheel spinning. And it's been one of his problems all that season, hurts. hasn't it? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see Josh actually running a four-wheel drive car, or yeah. because the rear wheel is his nemesis. Yeah. But he can be quick. So Craig now down to fourth. The two Subarus on the podium. This is good for K Tech for the teams, and. Uh, so, Kieran and Tom 
Oh, just behind Joe. So Joe is looking like he's going to want to defend hard in that Mazda. So Mark is unfortunately still lagging behind and as much as Mark is on the hard tyres, he's you know, he's not Come really... On, Josh. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, just nowhere near as competitive on those hards, is he, unfortunately? No. So Sam is now behind Mike and again Mike, we were talking about Mike, the fact that he's not... he should be really up nearer the podium on the, on the no. softs. I don't think he's had a, an off. Maybe he just doesn't feel as quick and competitive in the Nissan here at Catalonia. I know it's not necessarily many people's favourites. So Josh down to seventh now after being uh, in the chance of maybe getting a podium finish, even a, even a, a win. So two K Tech, uh, K Tech, sorry, the Elliot <laughs> Elliot Racing uh, Nissans all together in 5th and 6th, Harry in a strong fourth here, so this is looking good for Harry, let's keep it, uh, have a look on board with Rob, now Rob was leading the race, uh, he's managed to spin, it, spin himself out on the kerbs, um, but he's fighting back up the pack now, and has actually got Harry, the two Subarus and Joe in his sights, so he's got potential here to get back up into the leading pack on board with Tom who is still fighting for the lead Joe has defended hard defended well in that Mazda and he will most definitely want to keep that uh, lead and only his third event a win will really boost his confidence um, and it will potentially be a car to look at for season three now Rob is on the back end of Harry here interestingly Rob and Harry are very close in the points oh Rob goes really wide he's just outbraked himself yeah. but uh, it was a good attempt yeah the two are actually very close in the points so uh, a small kind of battle here not just for the race but for the title positions and there's uh, a little ongoing inside joke for Rob because <laughs> Rob hasn't come away from 10th position since Monza. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, will he come away from 10th here at Catalonia? We'll get to see. Tom still on the back end of Joe, and it just looks like he's stuck to the back of that car and not able to get beside it at any point. Joe is fighting. Defending really well. Yeah. And look, Tom overdriving the Subaru a little bit. Probably getting a little bit desperate as the laps are counting down. Kieran on the back end still. And Harry and Rob, look, are still battling it as well. This is a good little fight. Craig down on his own. Mike on the back end of Josh here. This is a, still a quiet one for Mike. He's not really been involved yeah. in anything at the moment, has he? Um, yeah. Further down, we've got the two Parker brothers, and we've got uh, Heathy down in 11th, with Mark further down in 12th. These two Renaults working together, but uh, I don't think they're going to make much progress from there in those hard tyres. Mm -hmm. On board with Heathy. Can he get past Rob, or is Rob going to get away and 
potentially start fighting for that podium. Ah, Tom's on the inside, so Tom is leading, but... No, oh! It's actually Kieran. So <laughs> Kieran, not Tom, <laughs> is uh, side by side with Joe. Let's go on board with Tom and let's watch Kieran and, and uh, Joe fight it out. Kieran nearly had him. Nearly. That uh, Mazda has become so wide, it's unbelievable. Kieran really, really putting the pressure now on to the Mad Panda Motorsport backed. Oh, that's Rob in the gravel. And this battle here is really, really chopping and changing as well. Looking good for Rob still though I think he'll still be really disappointed after losing the lead but yeah. it's not the worst case scenario he's still looking really really competitive in fourth and if Tom Kieran and Joe continue to battle like this look you can see already see jo uh, Joe <laughs> Rob is catching up and that gap is gonna decrease as the last two laps uh, run down to the end Tom back in second now so Tom and Kieran chopping and changing as well oh, a bit of a push there by Kieran Kieran says get on with it <laughs> oh, uh, otherwise I'll do it myself this will be a historical win if Joe does take the win in the Fetcrest statistics as a Mazda hasn't won uh, has it been on the podium I don't think it's even been on the podium so mm -hmm. a win and a podium finish for Joe if he does win this um, it's the first time the Mazda has been seen and it's the first time it could get a win so Kieran nearly up on the inside of Tom here. Pushing and pushing and pushing. There's more of a fight between Tom and Kieran at the moment than there is Tom, Kieran and Joe. Uh, there's a bit of a push as well. So some <laughs> really questionable team tactics going on here between KTEC. <laughs> uh, the two, as I said earlier on, rarely actually race side by side. Very similar to Elliot. Uh, oh, Tom bumping over those curbs. And uh, Tom and Kieran racing together is more exciting than the race that they should be racing. <laughs> Down to the final lap then. And Rob is catching and catching and catching. He's actually gapped Harry now. So on board with Tom. So Tom now behind Kieran. And if you actually a look... Completely different life. Yeah. Because of the kerfuffle these two have been doing, it's actually allowed Joe to get some breathing space again. Because they were much, much more on the back of Joe's rear end. And look now, Rob is now making this a four-way fight for the lead. Rob is so much closer on board with Rob as we watch the two Subarus chasing and chasing that uh, Mazda for the win and it's looking less and less likely that they will catch him this will be a great podium for KTEC it's really what they needed but it could be spoiled by Rob who subsequently is in Elite Racing so from another team member <laughs> from an uh, opposing team and Tom's on the inside of Kieran there's contact there between Tom and Kieran oh, Joe's jo jo hit the gravel easy. no and the two have hit 
again as they come through to the last chicane there's Tom Kieran tries to go in wide oh Tom's hit Kieran so Kieran goes wide where's Rob Rob's behind so I think Joe's definitely going to get it Tom's going to take second Kieran takes third and Rob will take fourth K Tech get away with the podium really lucky Harry takes fifth Michael takes sixth as he hits the gravel so Craig will take seventh that's another fairly decent result for Craig on the hard tyres Josh will take eighth I think Josh will be disappointed yet again after potentially having another podium finish there Josh takes eighth Darren and Sam are ninth and tenth ahead of Heafy and Mark comes around for a, a, f a very lonely 12th in the Renault Megane So let's have a look at the uh, on board with Tom here on the final few corners. So again, yeah, there's some contact. An actual fact, the Mazda, Joe, goes onto the gravel. So there's a bit of an opportunity there. There's contact with Kieran on the back. Tom runs wide. Kieran tries to get through. Oh, the contact there. It, it nearly spins Kieran. But luckily, the both of them are managing to keep their pace and take the checkered flag. Let's watch from Rob from behind. Uh, this will be a good one to watch, I think. As that's it, there's the contact. Oh, Rob just hits the gravel there. That slowed him down. Otherwise, he'd have been right on them. Mm -hmm. Switch over here. God, no. that was some. Uh, that was fighting with fire. Those two on the last lap, the last bend. Race two results then, Joe takes his first ever win for himself and for the Mazda, ahead of Tom and Kieran who get a, a double podium for K-Tech there. Rob is in fourth, Harry takes fifth, Mike is sixth, Craig is seventh, Josh gets eighth, ahead of Darren and Sam both in ninth and tenth, Stephen is eleventh, Mark is twelfth. And so what this means for the uh, points then in the title, Craig still way ahead of the Darren with 281, Darren's on 221. Um, Mark is still in third with 191, Mike in fourth with 188, and Josh and Tom now are joint fifth and sixth with 185 after that second place finish for Tom. Kieran is uh, back up to seventh ahead of Sam uh, after his third position with 142, Sam is on 138 in eighth. Harry is 9th, still 129. Rob is 10th with 119. Stephen is 11th in 95. Joe goes up to 73 and 12th. And of course, Gary, James and Chris don't increase their points at the back of the table. In the teams, Bellet Racing increased to 476. Parker uh, up to 423. And Ktech uh, have increased their points and closed their gap with 410, but still 13 points behind, so a little bit of work to do there. In the independence, Mark is leading by uh, 10 points with 264. Mike, 254. Josh is dropping off a little bit now in third, 238. Harry is fourth, still 206. Stephen, fifth with 136. Joe, up to 104 and sixth. Of course, Gary, James and Chris don't increase their points 